What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about what's been going on uh, in the wrestling news world. Uh, I've seen a few of y'all actually tag me on Twitter about this potential topic, and that is Brock Lesnar may be making his WWE return. Uh, it's been a lot of noise for the you know past 24 hours people speculating and is it a possibility of him returning and do people want him to return so we're going to talk about it give my thoughts and opinions on you know what's going on there and let's see you know what some of these reports are talking about this is from tjr wrestling wwe making moves for brock lesnar's shock return WWE's motto is never say never which is very true and after one shock return in his career already could Brock Lesnar be on his way back into the company again Brock Lesnar has appeared in WWE back in 2023 uh last appeared uh in WWE back in 2023 when Cody Rhodes defeated uh the star at SummerSlam a comeback for Lesnar was planned for 2024 Royal Rumble which would ultimately lead to a dream match with Gunther but uh put a uh, real uh Gunther but real life put those plans to bed Brock Lesnar was named in a shock sex trafficking lawsuit filed against Vince McMahon and WWE uh by former company employee Janelle Grant Grant has accused McMahon of using her as a sex object as part of Lesnar's re renegotiations with the company in 2021. All has been quiet on uh, on the Lesnar front in recent months, but it seems WWE is keen to have their beast incarnate back. Brock Lesnar uh, to return to WWE? Question mark. While appearing on backstage past Q and A, Bill after a wrestle votes were asked. Uh, about the prospect of Brock Lesnar returning to WWE with after n noting that he believes the two sides are in talks. I can tell you definitely yes, but uh, my inside people in WWE have told me they're, ta uh, they're talking. That's the most I know. WrestleVotes then followed up with more uh, with a more conclusive take on the situation. I'll give you a short answer. Yes. The lawsuit filed against Vince McMahon and WWE is currently on a six-month pause as the U.S. government launches its own investigation into the disgraced ex-WWE chairman. Whether or not any return for Brock Lesnar would take place before there's some sort of resolution to that lawsuit remains to be seen. And I think that's the thing. I'm sure they're in conversations, but it depends on how this lawsuit's going to play out. Because if the lawsuit plays out, well, first and foremost, it depends on what, what the the U.S. government is trying to, you know, you know, pretty much dig up on Vince and and trying to put out there to potentially put him behind bars. Then you got to also worry about the lawsuit. And if the lawsuit and the evidence comes out that that was the case. It's not a good look for Brock. So I believe he he has returned back on the WWE internal roster. I could be wrong. I think some of y'all had sent me that, that he's back on the WWE internal roster. So I don't know. But I will say this. Was there any doubt that WWE was in talks with him? No. Was there any doubt that if they had the chance, if everything checked out and he is cleared, of any type of accusations for the most part that they wouldn't bring them back of course they would bring them back it's money here's the thing that i've learned about people not just wrestling fans people in general for the most part if people are fans of you they've been fans of you there's a good chance that whatever you do even if it's deemed not right there's a good chance people will overlook that because they like your work we see it all the time. The bigger you are in the in a fan's eyes, the the less you can do wrong. It you would have to legitimately damn near murder their family members. Hell, murder's not even off the table. You could kill someone, claim self-defense, and people will still rock with you. Some may not, but if it shows that it was self-defense, cool. Even if it don't show that it was self-defense, people will still rock with you. Like I said, you would have to kill one of their family members for certain fans to just say, nah, I'm good on you. That's what it is. So is there a possibility he can come back? For sure. The question is how they're going to lay this out. 
if they have some evidence that we don't know that you know makes Brock innocent in the sense, then cool. Because here's the thing: from what the Janelle Grant was accusing or you know saying, essentially is Brock was used. You know, she was used as Brock's bargaining chip to potentially resign with the company. That's literally what it was. And before anything could happen, everything fell apart. So before they could actually do any type of sexual acts, it fell apart. That's literally what it was. So I don't know if that's going to be grounds enough to keep him off television. I know they did, obviously, because, you know, they're trying to distance themselves optically and stuff like that. But at the same time, he's not really, you know, been accused. I mean, he has he hasn't been found guilty of actually doing something with her. It was just conversations. Whether it's morally right or not, that you can decide. But when you really look at it, he didn't actually go through with it. He may have had some conversations about doing some stuff. But he never actually went through with it, from what we know. It was just Vince used her as a bargaining chip to get him to resign. Hey, you resign, she'll do whatever you want her to do. That's literally what it was. Not saying that it's right, but I'm saying that's what it was. So the moral ethics, that's on that's when people get involved. Like morally, is this right to have him back on the show? That's up to you. Me personally, I'm not gonna sit up here and say. Oh, this man, you know, he's a horrible human being. But at the same time, you you definitely, you, you kind of got to look at him a different way. If he even entertained it, if he entertained doing anything with this person, one, he's married, you know, so that's kind of wild. Granted, I don't know their relationship, so I can't speak up on it, but just he's married. So that's, that's never a good look. And two, to kind of essentially take advantage of the situation because you know Vince gave you the A-OK, you know, that's not a good look either, you know, considering he has a daughter as well. So me personally, it's not a good look. It, it definitely, you know, if it does come out that that's what happened and it's true that's what happened and he was, you know, trying to engage in some stuff with her, it just didn't happen, it's still not a good look. I'm not going to sit up there and say that was that's not a good look, but I'm also not going to sit up here and say that they wouldn't be able to put on some great matches. I know everybody wants to see Brock versus Gunther. I'm I'm one of those people. I would I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just being honest. So it's for me, it's kind of a fit. I'm I'm 50 50. Granted, I'm at that point. They don't need him because WWE is cooking right now. So if they do decide to do it, that's on them. Whatever. Cool. If they don't. I'm not losing any sleep because WWE is at that point now. They don't need Brock to sell tickets. They don't need Brock to have great matches, to, you know, book great stories. They don't need him no more in that sense. He's a luxury at that point. So it's it's whatever. For me, it's 50-50. If he's there, cool. If he's not, that's cool too. You know, it's just, you know, morally, that probably wasn't the best thing for Brock to do. But, you know, Brock and Vince, they, they were real cool with each other. I'm pretty sure they still cool with each other. So, I don't know. But y'all comment down below. Y'all let me know. How do y'all feel about the idea of Brock returning? Would you guys care if he re uh, came back into WWE uh, on, you know, for some type of future match setup? Or would you guys not care? And it's, it's one of those things where it's like you're indifferent to it. Like if he comes back, cool. If he doesn't, cool. Or if you're one of those few people that like, nah, he doesn't deserve to be back. Nah, we don't need him. You know, keep him away from WWE. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.